Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to check out the Honor Magic VS which just got launched in China when you view this video because at this time of shooting, it has not been launched yet so I'm super excited to see what's inside the box right here and we're going to talk about what the phone is all about. Let's get to it. So this is the retail box of the Honor Magic VS. It is very big and premium as you can see right here. So let's just take up the lid here and we will see the phone right here along with some Chinese words. So this is the China retail packaging. I'm not sure whether it will be the same when it arrives in Malaysia, but I hope it will be the same, right? So let's just take up the phone right now. So this is how the phone looks like. It is actually very, very light. It is slimmer and lighter than the Honor Magic V that we checked out the last time. But let's talk about the phone later and check out what's inside the box. So we're going to take out the lid just like this. And we have three small boxes inside the packaging. So here's another leaflet in Chinese. And first of all, it would be the SIM ejector, which is right here. And Honor is really kind to offer a case right here, which is in this uh, wrapper here, but I'm not gonna take it out because we have one special case that is like this, that also serves as the kickstand. Look at this, this is pretty special. Let me just quickly collapse it on the phone here so you can see how it looks like, right? So this is how it looks like. It's in a really nice carbon fiber-like design here, and the kickstand works like this, so you can just put the phone on the table just like this, all right? So um, put this aside first, and we're gonna check out other contents. So we also have, a charger here, a charging brick. So this, since this is the Chinese variant, we are getting a two-prong charger. This is a 66 watt power brick. It is a type A connector here. So we're not getting type C yet. Of course, the phone has USB-C of course, but then the charging cable is a USB-A to C cable, right? So let's put that aside. And finally, we have the charging cable right here. So there's no headphones included, but you know what? Honor is being very, very generous already by offering all this inside this great premium package. The Honor Magic VS comes in three color variants, but we only have two right over here. So on the left, it is the cyan color, and on the right, this is the black color model. So I'm not really sure if uh, Honor Malaysia will be bringing in this phone, but this is how it looks like. It looks really gorgeous. And personally, I'm really liking this cyan color right here because it comes with this frosted glass material, whereby the black color model comes with a glossy glass material, which actually attracts fingerprints, but the cyan color doesn't. So we're gonna take a look at this phone right now. So as you can see right here, here, this is actually a very, very slim foldable phone by looking at the hinges here. And of course, the frame is also slimmed down as compared to the Magic V. Now, I have the Magic V right here as well. So this is how the Magic V looks like. As you can see, uh, this the Magic V has a more textured feel on the back right here that, to be honest, it feels just as good as the frosted material back on the Honor Magic VS. So look at the thickness of this phone here. You can definitely notice that uh, the Honor Magic VS is a lot slimmer compared to the Honor Magic V. Now that's because Honor says that it has reduced the components on the hinges to make it a lot slimmer. So this makes it one of the slimmest foldable phones ever that is rated at about 261 grams. That is actually a very impressive weight right here considering it is a foldable phone that has a 7.9 inch internal display. In other design changes, the Honor Magic VS comes with a new camera array design with a contour shape and of course a curved glass right here that actually looks really nice. Now of course, Honor has also upgraded the cameras on the Honor Magic VS. So the main camera is now the very same 54 megapixel Sony IMX800 sensor that's found on the Honor 70. It is assisted by a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera that also serves as a macro lens and along with an 8 megapixel 3x optical zoom camera. Now the front camera on the cover display Display here is a 16 megapixel sensor and when you unfold the phone right here the internal display also has a punch hole color camera that also shoots 16 megapixel shots so it's not some crappy 4 megapixel camera like some other competitors out there in terms of specs, the Honor Magic VS is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, made it to 8GB or 12GB of RAM, and up to 512GB of internal storage. It also has a 5000mAh battery that powers it, along with support for Honor 66W Supercharge, which is really cool, and this is definitely the biggest battery that we have seen on a foldable phone, period. Now, in terms of its display here, so the 
Cover display here is a 6.45 inch uh, 120 years OLED panel is a full HD plus resolution and when you unfold the phone it is a 7.9 inch 90 hertz display which is kind of odd I did ask Honor why they decide to make it a 90 hertz display but they just say that's the way it is they decide to include it in a 90 hertz panel for the bigger 7.9 inch display yep but this is a pretty nice display as you can see now the display crease is still very visible as compared to the previous Honor Magic V but I guess that is something that most of you would have to deal with if you own a foldable phone regardless of any mix but yeah the crease is definitely a lot slimmer than the previous generation which is actually something good to know so that when you run your finger over it, it's actually not so obvious now the software experience of the Honor Magic VS is actually pretty good as I had a brief moment with it, I tested the app continuity and I have to say that it is very, very responsive for a foldable phone. Now let's just do a simple demo right over here. So we are now on the home screen right now, so I'm just going to launch an app. Let's say we launch Zeus Coffee. Now obviously this is just a very standard uh, coffee app that we use to buy coffee here. But look at this, when I unfold the display, boom it goes into full screen. And once I close the display again, and it just resizes instantly. This is just amazing. It is something that I can't see on Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 4. And it's something that I think they should have really done well since they are the pioneers in foldable phones. But Honor's Magic UI 7.0 based on Android 12 that is running on this phone right here, it actually won up Samsung, right? Now, there are other cool features on the Honor Magic VS software as well. Now, you, you do realize that there are actually some small lines on some icons right here, so such as this one on the clock. So if you actually swipe up, it actually becomes a small widget that tells you the time. And if you have some notes that you have written and stored inside the phone, you can actually swipe up on notes to reveal some of the shortcuts to your notes as well. Now, this is extremely useful and I really love this feature. Now, the app continuity uh, feature also expands to other apps as well. Let me just do one more demo again. And for example, let's head on over to Waze here, which is something that I believe a lot of you would use on a foldable phone like this. Now, since we are now on the tablet mode, as you can see, this is how Waze looks like. And I'm just going to close the phone right now. Close it. And look, it just goes back to the main screen like instantly. So let's say if I am using uh, Waze on the bigger screen and I just want to quickly put it on a handphone mount inside my car, I can just quickly close it without restarting the app. Now, this is really impressive, which I definitely can't wait to use the Honor Magic VS as a daily driver when I finally receive the review unit. Now, let's quickly check out the camera features of the Honor Magic VS. Now, as you can see right over here, this is a very clean user interface that Honor has definitely optimized for foldable screens. On the right here, you get the switch between the camera modes here at the bottom side. So that's actually a very friendly camera interface as opposed to switching between modes right at the middle bottom here, which might not be convenient if you're actually holding the phone with one hand. And on the left side, this is where you're able to uh, switch between camera lenses and also do some camera settings right here. So this is overall a very user-friendly camera interface for foldable phones. Now let's check out the video mode right over here because this is what I'm particularly interested at because uh, Honor says this phone is also an IMAX enhanced certified phone so you can actually uh, take some really great cinematic shots on this. So there's even a movie mode right here for you to shoot videos in the 21 by 9 cinematic aspect ratio. Now this is something that not many phones are able to do so. So if you're intending to shoot in this kind of aspect ratio, the Honor Magic VS is pretty much the first foldable phone that is able to shoot in such kind of aspect ratio. Now, of course, uh, this is still a very early software release. So if you happen to uh, fold the phone a bit, the camera uh, UI wouldn't like uh, switch to a like, like a top part where it is the live view and the bottom part will be some of the settings. So it doesn't have the so-called flex mode uh, yet on this phone, but I'm sure when it gets released in its final software form, that feature will ultimately be available. Now, we head on to Pro Mode here. Now, this is how the Pro Mode looks like. You can see that there are a couple of settings here. Like I said, this is a very friendly camera interface that is very suitable for one-handed use if you're holding it with your right hand. Now, this is where you can set your settings. You get to uh, set uh, focus control, white balance, uh, 
exposure, shutter speed, and ISO levels right here, which is all the settings that you'll ever want if you're shooting a pro photo or pro video. Now, there is also another feature, which is the cover screen camera. So here we go. Um, it's actually pretty good. And as I hold my hands just like this, it actually doesn't uh, touch the screen or hamper the camera experience like some other foldable phones that I've actually used. If I happen to touch the screen like this, it would have accidentally uh, tap on the shutter button or something, but it doesn't happen on the Honor Magic VS and I am so far very impressed by it. So overall, my first impressions with the Honor Magic VS has been very good and it is a very impressive foldable. It is built very sturdy, it has a very solid hinge and Honor says that it can uh, fold up to 400,000 times which is actually pretty incredible. I think it's more than any other foldable phones in the market because I think those would have claimed like about 200 or 250,000 times. So yeah, it's a pretty bold claim that this foldable hinge can last up to 400,000 times and of course, it looks like a phone that can sustain some drops as well, but I'm not going to test that. But the only thing right here is that we are missing IP uh, certified water resistance and dust resistance as well, which Honor has not claimed any of them on this. But I'm very sure with this kind of design, it could be a little dust resistant, even though they didn't mention that. But yeah, not having water resistance is kind of a shame because since its competitor has it, you know? So yeah, um, that's pretty much all my first impressions and thoughts on the Honor Magic VS. I hope that this will ultimately come to Malaysia really soon because this is actually the first foldable phone that Honor is intending to release to global markets. So hopefully we might actually receive this phone finally because I was really hoping for another foldable phone to be made available in Malaysia. So yeah, hopefully this really arrives here at a competitive price. All right, so that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up and be sure to subscribe to us and I'll see you guys in the next one.